What's the best thing you have here that I can buy? No, I'm not cheap. Ooh, pink! It's like I want matching colors with the wall. Special treatment. This is 40 rand. I travel across Africa a lot and one question I get mostly is how are you able to afford traveling and exploring the location because everybody knows how freakishly expensive traveling is. People don't believe how much you can do with a small amount and some knowledge of the right places to go to. So in today's video, I'm going to be exploring Cape Town, South Africa with only $100 and we'll see how much fun I'm able to get up to. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cape Town International Airport. For your safety, please remain seated and cars on the Mars tonight. Cape Town is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and it's one of my best cities. And to be honest, I actually thought about moving down here the first time I visited. One of the great parts about Cape Town as a city is the variety of activities you can engage in here. It has the mountains, the sea, beautiful beaches and a whole lot more. On arriving Cape Town, I had to get a hotel and because we were on a budget, one of the cheapest and best hotels we could find was at Greenpoint. I had never done pedicure or manicure before so added that to my list cause the young boys gotta look fresh and clean. We found a spot at Long Street where I planned on rebranding my legs. It was very confusing deciding what next to do. To continue our $100 challenge, one of the interesting things about Cape Town is that there are so many stores, restaurants along all the streets we are. Like we just left Long Street now, we're currently on Bridge Street. I'm freaking cold right now because it's winter and I want to grab a cup of coffee. I want to get a cappuccino. Cappuccino is 30 rand. Thank you. Uh, special treatment. <laughs> we spent 530 rand now, I think. How are you doing, bro? I'm on 30 rand. Yeah. All together. Mm -hmm. We're currently headed to our next location now. There's a place called the Old Biscuit Mill. And I think they do a lot of food and stuff there. And definitely, I'm very hungry because I'm not eating today. And we still have some money on our budget. We can grab something to eat. <laughs> Hopefully. How far away from the place? I'm right here. Right here? Just on the street. Oh, okay. So guys, as you can see, one of the best parts about being in Cape Town is at every point in time, there's a really nice backdrop. You can see Table Mountain there and we can also see Lion's there. That's that. So guys, we're currently at the old biscuit mill. I've never been here before, so I'm like, oh wow. Like, One of the best things about this place is that there are so many people from different countries that actually come here to experience it. You can see the whites, you can see the blacks, you can see multiple people from different cultures and also they sell different types of food here. Yeah, what I want to do is I just want to grab a drink. So I'm probably going to take this drink. It's called uh, the Strong Bro. I think it's made in South Africa. This is 40 Rand. I'm not doing more than myself. And ice? Yeah. No, no need to buy it. <laughs> Thank you, bro. After buying a drink here, I want to get something to eat. I'm gonna blow your mind and change your life forever. What's the cheapest thing you have here that I can buy? No, I'm not cheap. <laughs> you said that it's not cheap. cheap. I'm the worst. <laughs> You better edit that. <laughs> what we're trying to buy is actually 350. So I and him are gonna do like a, a collaboration so that we split it. It's gonna be 175, but I'm trying to save on my budget actually. I'm gonna blow your mind, I'm gonna change your life forever. Yeah, 
The dog period of no food. <laughs> it's like a birthday cake. Today is my birthday. So I need to go, I need to go somewhere to go and demolish my birthday cake. <laughs> Thank you. I found a cool spot right here. I'm going to set it out. He said we should pay after we eat I it. I know. That's, <laughs> what that's what he said. That's, that's crazy. That's I've never had that before. Home. a very fun ride actually being here and experiencing all the elements of this place different people selling food buying food there are so many people also getting drinks and stuff here and it's really cool and amazing I think this is one of the best places to experience in Cape Town it's kind of winding down now because it's almost four o'clock so if you want to come here I think it's better you come here it's maybe sometime early in the morning definitely come check out old biscuit meal I heard about a very cool place. It's like a beach spot. So we're headed there right now. Let's go. Sadly, we weren't allowed to film. I was able to film this briefly. What I want to do here is I want to get a drink. The cocktail starts at around 100 grand. So we want to get one. Yeah. So guys, I got a mojito. Uh, this cost me 95 rand. So I think we still have we still have some money in our budget. So probably we'll see what we can do later today. I didn't really like the drink and it was also very expensive. During our exploration of Cape Town, a friend of mine told me about a place where we could get some of the best seafood. So we decided to head there. This place was really pretty as it was by the beach. We went along a very scenic drive, you know, with the beach on the left and the mountains on your right. Yeah, so guys, we're currently at Hout Bay. And one of the things they do here is you can eat really nice fish. So I'm having hake and calamari combo. It's 135 rand. So I think when your food is ready, we're gonna take all the condiments you're gonna to use to eat here. Salt, vinegar. Oh, <laughs> really nice. I think one of the cool parts about buying stuff here is you can take it home if you don't finish it. And it's actually a lot. It's pretty portion. It's a whole lot. On my left here is like the beautiful mountain. And another cool thing about Cape Town is a lot of people build houses on the hills. So everybody has a really nice view. So cheers to you guys. Lastly, I decided I was going to go to one of the highest points in Cape Town to catch a view of the whole city. It's a place called Signal Hill. So guys, we climbed to the top of Signal Hill to get an amazing view of Cape Town. Guys, check out this view. It's freaking cold out here though, so I think if you're coming here, you should come here during the day when it's hot because I'm shivering. <laughs> And the good part about coming here is that it's free. All you just need to do is if you have a car, or you can get an Uber and just come here and spend like five, ten minutes here. Ooh, it's cold. Thankfully, this is also a free activity. Some of the things that happen at Signal Hill, or one of the most popular things that happen at Signal Hill, is people paragliding. This is where people paraglide from. But yeah, I couldn't afford that, so we didn't even bother about doing that. that they have here. I think I saw it in Dubai the last time and I'm just trying to figure out how it works. This is my first time on one. Hopefully I don't fall down. I actually just realized Greenpoint was a place for fishing and I think it was also a war camp. As you can see from these pictures here, there are lots of cows here. So probably back then, 
this whole road that you're seeing here was like farmland and even you can still see a lot of greenery on that side but I think they've turned it to like a sports facility and behind me or in front of me is the stadium where World Cup was held in 2010 so we just finished riding now and to pack the scooter all you need to do is you know click end my ride they will tell you to take a picture to show how you packed it and where you packed it on this ride i was charged six dollars seventeen cents which is almost 100 rand so yeah i just want to put like a you know review that's on boo boo <laughs> so submit So guys, we're headed to Bokap. It's a very popular tourist destination in Cape Town, South Africa. You don't need to pay any money to go to Bokap, right? You don't need to pay any money to go there. And it has a lot of colorful houses. I think it's just color. That's what brings Bokap to life. So I've never seen it before. I've seen a lot of videos, but definitely I want to check it out. And also, we are looking for more free stuff to do that won't cost us any money. This is one of the most colorful places to come to. As you can see, there are lots of tourists here who are taking pictures. I think one of the best parts about having this $100 challenge is I'm showing you places that you can also explore without spending a lot of money. Like here now, you can just come here and you don't need to spend anything. You can just walk around. Nobody's going to disturb you. Nobody's going to charge you. Let me see if I can get some pictures on this side. Oh, pink. Pink, pink. <laughs> it's like I want matching colors with the wall. <laughs> so if you're wearing pink, you can come to the pink side. If you're wearing blue, you can also come check out the blue side too. And also so many colors on the left and the right. And it's a really big community. This is just one section of it. This place has a lot of art scene. There's this really nice art shop here. Yeah? So prints of my art as well, which is not expensive. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. You too, man. Let's check this out. Art the Cap. It's an artist studio and gallery. And it has a lot of it has a lot of beautiful art. What's so special about Bokab? Why do people always come here? What you see? The colors. Yeah. That's just that's the all? Beauty, yeah. The beauty. Yeah. The culture, <laughs> the heritage, these are the oldest buildings in Cape Town. Oh wow. Uh, the oldest buildings in Cape Town. The oldest original suburb of Cape Town. Oh. You drew all of this? Yeah. Oh wow. If you're coming down to Cape Town, definitely come and check out this amazing art shop. Bay Beach and this is one of the most popular beaches out here so many activities so many things to do if you're coming out here for the first time and as you can see on this side there are lots of shops lots of coffee shops lots of places where you can come to experience also it's very expensive too by the way so we're not going to be buying anything from here but if you look on this other side is where the beach is with the promenade so you can get to experience a lot without spending a lot of money or without even spending any money at all the sun is right in my eye though but the weather is good today and as you can see we have a lot of people surfing but i didn't come with any beach wear but i also wanted to show you one thing you can do if you're coming out of cape town without spending any money one cool thing is you can sit down on the ground if you want to but if you want to rent a chair to sit down or an umbrella i think we have people here who rent chairs for a certain small amount which we are not going to do because we don't have any money anymore So guys, after exploring Cape Town, we decided to end this day at this beautiful French restaurant. And I decided to order Hennekin on draft. It's just a cup, 30 rand, you know. After going around Cape Town, we need to chill. One of the best places to enjoy an amazing sunset is Cam's Bay Beach. Definitely, if you want to come down here, these are some of the activities you can do for $100. I tried to put a spin on a normal travel video by adding a challenge to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. At the end of the day, we spent this much and I had one of the best experiences ever in one of the most beautiful cities in Africa. Definitely come experience Cape Town, as always. Cape Town is really amazing. Cape Town is really awesome. If you like this video, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>
Davi fan de aqui. Mas eu sabia. Eu sabia.